that's the title screen <coughs> the previous screen was blank because I don't know how to do this so I didn't know how to do this I think I'm better now and that's my me and that's the mathematical equation that you need to do in order to have this basically the ratio of x minus x0 is the same ratio as x and the x I mean x minus x0 divided by x1 minus x0 that's a number and it's the same ratio as y minus y0 divided by y1 minus y0 basically all it does is take this as a pivot point and no matter where it goes it's the same and where the x is and that's the where the y and this can be n numbers it's a very convenient way to convert to numbers basically so that's where it's being used this is the screen resolution and that's the keyboard resolution if it's a full screen keyboard then it's probably the same except basically it's you can just divide the number and get the keyboard resolution because the keyboard resolution is in this case uh, 6 by 4 over here uh, yep 6 by 4 and the screen resolution would be 255 by 191 so just divide by whatever it is and then you get the keyboard resolution This is basically a way to convert two-dimensional array, which is x and y, into single-dimensional array, which is 0 through 5. So, this, in this case, this is y max is, I mean, x max is 3 and y max is 2. But in the previous example, x max is 6 and y max is 4. And that's the formula right there. But the computer has a function that you can use a string and then go to the string label basically on and this is a variable 0 to 5 and then go to and then whatever label this is but the computer will have an ampersand mark here and then the label name like this one right here so these are different labels now this is go to so you need to put a go to out somewhere and uh, here or on the bottom or to the main loop so it doesn't go k0 and then goes to k1 and then goes to k2 so that's a cut off over there and if you use on go sub then you use return This is very interesting because, you know, some keyboards are overlap like this and it's also called hex box. Basically the value here is the same but what you want, basically this is value 0, 1 and then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is empty over here, 7 is empty and then 8, 9, 10, 11 and so on. So you can have staggered keyboard uh, doing that. The problem is that if you put draw a box around its key then it will have different you know lines in the middle over here saying that hey that's two that's two keys but it's not two keys it's one key and you can just do pictures and draw it and hey that's your keyboard that's keyboard number one just beep 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 like this
and you can do different pictures like on and off and you can uh, when you press the key you copy the on key graphic for this key and then paste it over there so it looks like you're pressing it make simple animation that way and that's really paint program here screen overlay mm. and there you go